this film explores themes of bereavement and loss. At some point in our lives, we're all likely to experience bereavement or loss, or know someone who is grieving. Supporting someone in your community who has been bereaved can feel daunting, and sometimes it's hard to know what to say or do. The experience of losing someone comes with a complex mix of emotions, as does being a support for someone who has been bereaved. Often we can feel so worried about saying the wrong thing or upsetting the person who has lost their loved one that we end up not saying anything at all. This can look like avoiding the person who has been bereaved or acting like the bereavement hasn't happened, causing an uncomfortable elephant in the room. It's normal for it to feel intimidating, confusing or anything in between. Death can be a difficult thing to talk about, but it's an important part of life. Avoiding it doesn't make it go away, However, talking about bereavement and loss can help someone deal with their grief. Being faced with bereavement or loss can be an isolating and lonely experience. Having your support and forging human connections can really help someone through a tough time. Everyone in a community makes an impact on the experiences of those around them. And this can be especially so for those experiencing bereavement and loss. There are as many different experiences of bereavement as there are people. What's important to know about grief is that there isn't a neat process of steps to travel through. Grief is not a point in time. It's a complex and gradual journey. On this journey, people experiencing bereavement will often come across dark times, where they feel overwhelmed with grief and the emotions associated with loss. There will also be periods of light where, whilst the loss is still carried, they're more able to cope with life's changes, focus on other things and have new experiences. On their journey, people will come across darkness and light often and regularly move between experiencing each of them. And sometimes it might even feel to the person like they've arrived back at the beginning of their path. All of these experiences are important in processing grief. What we can do is help people to find balance. The most important thing is to acknowledge the loss and let the person know that you're there for them. This promotes connection and lets people know that they're not in this alone. Simply asking, I'm really sorry, do you want to talk about it? Is often a good first step. This gives people a space to express their grief and remember the person at a time that's right for them. People experiencing loss often feel pressure to put on a brave face for others, which can feel even more isolating being given permission to grieve and process the loss is often a relief. Sometimes we don't want to bring up death or loss because we don't want to remind them that it's happened. However, it's likely that it's often at the forefront of the person's mind anyway. Sometimes it can feel uncomfortable watching someone express intense emotions, but expressing feelings is an important part of human experience and connection. It's often said that grief is the price we pay for love, try to be there for the person and listen. Just letting them know that they are not alone can really make a difference. For example, sending a card or checking in around times when experiences of darkness can be common, such as an anniversary or during other stressful life events. You could also offer to be there in practical ways. It could be that the person needs support to be able to access important rituals around death, like attending a funeral or burial, visiting somewhere significant such as a grave, or participating in a special remembrance. It could also be something as simple as offering to get some shopping for them, or offering respite from caring responsibilities. Just remember that anything you feel able to do can be a significant help to somebody experiencing bereavement. Thank you for taking the time to watch this film. If you'd like some more examples of what you can say or do for someone who is experiencing bereavement, grief or loss, then follow the accompanying information and links.